guys, welcome to my channel. Well, this is a different setup than what you usually see here. It's just a bunch of pens. In case you don't know or can't guess, I'm going to be doing my pen gems, I guess collection is what I'm gonna call this video and going through all the pen gems that I have. I have a few that are on the way and are not here yet. So I will either film them when I get them on a different day or I might insert pictures at the end, just depending on how quickly I can get this uploaded. So I normally store most of them in a cup. I do have some scuba cases coming because not all of them fit in my old candle anymore. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with the pens that are part of Pen Gems like permanent line. So you guys should be able to get them at some point. If they're out of stock, they should come back. The first pen is Aspen. This is my most used, most reached for pen out of all of my many pens. It has some wear, it has some scratches, but I love her. It's just solid white, white crystals, silver barrel. Next up, we have Lemon Twist. It is a yellow pen with silver hardware. Then we have Skinny Dip. It's this pretty peachy pink color. Kind of a little bit of that like mauvey pink that's in right now. This is another one of my favorite pens. You'll probably hear me say that a lot, not even gonna lie. This is a Royal Blue. It's Alaska with silver hardware. Then these two are the same pen. One is just in silver and one is in gold. So first we have the silver Aloha pen, which is so pretty. It's just a nice red. And then we have the gold Aloha pen, which this one is just so Christmassy to me. I love it. I'll show you when we get to another collection, the Christmas pen. This one is Darling. It is purple and gold and just reminds me of Disney's Tangled. So naturally, I love it. This one is Caribbean blue in gold. It is really pretty, kind of a turquoisey blue pen. So that is the first group of pens that I am going to be showing you today. Now getting into these three beauties, this is Standing Ovation. It is a all gold pen with gold glitters, or gems rather, not glitters. Um, Last time I checked, these three were still in stock on the Pendems website, and I will have my Pendems code linked down below for you guys for easy access. This pretty rose gold one is After Party. Rose gold is kind of my thing, just like everyone's thing right now, so I adore it. And then the silver one with the more gray gems is called Paparazzi. Okay, next, these are part of the Spring Fling Collection. I got them in both the gold and the silver. So this pretty one with the flowers is the Wild Spring Wild Flowers pen. This one is gorgeous. I also have the same pen in gold. It's named the same thing, just one with the word silver, one with the word gold. These are gorgeous with pink and green gems in them. I love the multicolored gems in the barrel. Then we have the Baby Cakes pink pen from the collection, silver hardware, and then I also have it in gold. It's just a very pretty pink pen. And then I also have the pistachio, which is like a mint color in both the silver and the gold. And then just for comparison, this is the 2018 Breast Cancer Awareness Pen. I wanted to show it to you next to these two. Um, the barrel right here is almost identical, but if you look closely, you can see that the gems have varying colors of pink in them, but they are super similar. So if you really wanted this one and can't find it, you might wanna try to get your hands on baby cakes in silver because they are really close. So these were from the Pippin Loves Fiona collection. Last time I checked, they were all on the website still. No guarantees though. This one is Lovebird. It has the black hardware pink barrel and the white, black, and pink gems with a pink gem on the top. Then we have Pippin, which this might be my favorite one from the collection. It just has the white barrel with black hardware, black gems, and a black gem on top. 
Then we have Mischief, which I know a lot of people love this one. It is all black, which is the different color gems inside. Then we have Fiona, which is has the pink barrel and the gems and hardware is black. And then I'm not sure how this is said. It's spelled B-I-S-O-U, B-I-S-O-U, Bosu Bosu is how I would say it, but I'm not 100% sure. It has the white barrel, black hardware, and multicolored gems inside of it. This collection as a whole is gorgeous. I love the pens with black hardware, so pretty. Okay, now we're getting into some of the pens that you can't get anymore. Really, this is from the Airbrush collection. So all these have pens that match them in solid colors. I don't have any of the ones with silver hardware, but this is this one is Caribbean, and you can see the Caribbean in gold is very similar, but it's just solid, whereas this one has that airbrush ombre effect. So let's go ahead and get into it. The purple one is Antoinette. I do have, actually, I don't remember if I purchased it. I might have taken it out of my cart at the last second. But it's this really pretty true purple and the gems, of course, ombre from clear to purple. And then the barrel goes the opposite way with silver hardware. Then we have Neverland, which of course reminds me of Tinkerbell and Disney. So I love this pen. Although I do feel like the gems are maybe a little dark and needed to be a little more of that true Tinkerbell green color, but it's still super pretty. Then this is Heartbreaker, another pink pen. Pink is my favorite color, so I'm kind of partial to these. And then as I've said before, this is Caribbean from the Airbrush Collection with that pretty blue ombre. Okay, next we have the City Pop Collection, which was the first ever full collection I got from Pen Gems. And is ironically like the one I use the least. Um, not that I hate it, I just, I don't know why. This is probably my favorite pen from the collection. It is the Emerald City pen. I am a Slytherin, so I tend to get a lot of use out of this pen when I do Harry Potter spreads because they tend to be very Slytherin heavy. It has the silver hardware, the green barrel, and then white, gray, and like green gems. The next one is London Calling. It has a silver hardware, the gray barrel, and then like red, white, and blue gems essentially. And all of these have the same color gem on top from this collection. Then we have Mercy Paris, which this one, the gems like aren't full all the way. So you can, I don't know if my camera will pick up them rattling, but it has the silver hardware at the pink barrel and these really pretty like blue and pink gems inside. Then we have most people's favorite pen from the collection, which is Tokyo Nights, the all black everything, and then just this pop of color in the gems is so pretty and unique. Last but not least, we have That's So LA. It has the peach barrel with the blue and peach gems inside of it. And just for comparison, here is That's So LA next to Skinny Dipped, which I had showed you earlier. Next, these are all just kind of one-off limited edition pens. This one is my newest addiction too. It is uh, another rose gold, but the gems inside of it are pink, purple, and white. Just to compare it to the other one, you can see that the colors of the hardware are pretty much the same. This one might be just a little darker and this one a little lighter, but you can see the differences in the gems. Then we have this year's Halloween pen, which is spooky. It has the black hardware, the purple barrel with the black bats on it, and then these really pretty green and purple gems inside of it. This one was still available last time I checked on the website. Then we have this pen. This one I didn't get from the Pen Gems website. It actually came from the Coco Daisy website. It is the Coco Daisy Planniversary pen. It has the yellow gem on top and the ombre effect with the gems. It is super pretty, very springy. Um, this did just come out. Last I checked, again, it was on, in stock on the Coco Daisy, Coco Daisy website. I don't know if it still is, but I have a feeling I'll get a lot more use out of this pen come springtime. This is the July VIP Strawberry Pen in Silver. 
Again, this is another more springtime-y pen for me. It has the silver hardware, the barrel with the strawberries all over it, which is so cute, and then red and white gems inside with a red gem on top. Now we have the Christmas Lights Collection. It came with three pens. The first one is the red one. It is Jingle Bells. It is red with gold hardware and it is stunning. The way that these barrels on these ones glow like Christmas lights is crazy. I'll compare it to the Aloha gold pen so you can see the difference and maybe the camera will pick up what I mean. Like they are just so rich and so pretty. So this is Aloha and then this is Jingle Bells. Then we have the green one, which again, the Slytherin Me loves. This is the deck, the Halls pen. It has a green gem on top, the green gems in the barrel and is stunning. Then we have the blue one, which is Winter Wonderland. And this blue barrel is, might be the most eye-catching of them all. But either way, this collection is stunning. I've seen it pop up on a few buy trade sell pages recently for reasonable prices. So if you're looking at it, I'd go ahead and check there. Next up, we have the Dulce Vita collection. This is Marquina, I believe is how it's pronounced. It is the black marble with gold and white gems. Then we have Rosalia. Rosalia. This is the silver one with the more like classic marble and white gems and the more gray gem on top. And then my favorite Car Car Carrera, I think is how it says. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm really bad at pronouncing names, but it is the pink one from this Dulce Vita marble inspired <coughs> collection. <coughs> I apologize for my dog barking. The mail just came. Um, this is the 2017 Northern Lights collection. This is one of easily my favorite collection as a whole that they've done. This is Arctic Blue. They all have gold hardware. The gems all match on top and they have these really pretty like holographic iridescent white crystals in them. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but that one is Arctic Blue. Then we have Celestial Pink which I told you I'm a pink person, so this one is my favorite. Then we have Eliasin Lavender, which is the lavender colored one. We have Iced Mint, which I really do like the mint color with these gems. And then last we have Polar Peach in the collection, which as a whole, this collection is just so pretty. And I know it's highly sought after, so I feel really, really fortunate to have it in my possession. And last, but most certainly not least, is my current favorite pen. This was the Rockstar Simply Gilded pen that was in the subscription box. And it is just so pretty. It has this pretty, like, lavender barrel, silver hardware, and pink, blue, and yellow gems and this thing is just absolutely stunning. That is it. Here is my entire pen gems collection or at least the ones that are in my hands and not currently in the mail. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting. Let me know if you'd like to do more like planner collection videos like all my like shop specific kits or something like that. Let me know if you guys have any questions and share with me which pen was your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my videos and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.